All right, so today we're going to look at a single leg defense um, into a pretty vicious control of the head that you can work for uh, through for different options, whether your focus is self-defense or sport or just, you know, hanging around with your friends. So Riley's going to get this single leg on me. Single legs are usually easier to get, but harder to finish. So I usually have a little bit more time. I'm going to look to get an arm stop in. So my opposite side hand is going to come between us and I'm going to kind of wedge through with my forearm to start creating some space. From here, I'd like to get some control on this shoulder that's gonna uh, be doing a lot of the work for the takedown. Getting underneath is usually pretty difficult. So I'm gonna look to go between his lat and his tricep to get my hand through, and I'm gonna connect it to my leg here. Now that I've got some control and some leverage on uh, my partner, I'm gonna pull my heel out and around to the outside, and I can start driving the sh her shoulder to the ground as I kick my foot back. I wanna keep this pressure on the shoulder because I don't want her to be able to continue to re-engage and look to get her own underhook and grab me or do whatever else comes next. So I keep pressure so that that arm comes in front. But rather than getting control of it, like you may have seen in a lot of our videos, my hand that was arm stopping is gonna to look to pull her head towards me and the hand that I had my underhook on is gonna punch through and underneath. And I want that a really deep grip. So I'm not satisfied with just getting to the neck. I'm looking to punch my arm through so my shoulder is really starting to get into her armpit. From here, the hand on the head is gonna flip over. I'm gonna go palm on palm. My elbow stays on this side of the neck and I've got a really tight bite on the head. This is pretty similar to a Darce choke and I could make it a choke, but right now it's just a really good control for me to shake and make and get him to the ground. Once the hands are on the ground, world is my oyster. I can continue to set things up. Uh, this is a pretty good position to look to start setting up a Peruvian, stepping over the head. I can also look to switch into straight wrestling or if it's self-defense, I can look to create space and start striking. So we started all the way from here. Riley picked that single leg. I wedge my arm in between. I'm getting my overhook. I'm already getting my leg out. I'm connecting it all the way through to my own leg. I stay hard framing against the neck, kick my leg back, stay heavy on the shoulder so that arm comes in front of my body. I'm pulling her head to me as I punch my arm through. Hand on the neck, hand up, palm to palm. My elbow is in tight. All of this is mine. Riley's head and arm is now mine. And now pretty much wherever I want to put her, I can. I'm going to get my legs back, start sprawling and shaking her side to side to get hands on the ground. I can continue this choke if I'd like to continue to drive. Or like I said, there's a lot of different options that I can play with from here. Single leg, wedge inside, overhook, get my leg out, stomp to the ground, heavy on the shoulder, pull the head, punch my arm, connect my hands, elbows in together and tight and look to run them, shake them, and get them to the ground. And that's your fit to fight fix. If you want more self-defense fighting and fitness principles to keep you fit to fight, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Whoa!